You know, one of the things that I've discovered is the world of lacto-fermentation. That means you can ferment, uh, make sauerkraut, and I love good sauerkraut. It's just hard to find. But at the same time, you can ferment carrots, which are very healthy for you. It's an excellent probiotic. You can ferment uh, just a number of things. You make pickles, you can make, uh, uh, you know, broccoli spears, you can take uh, asparagus. Uh, so, but let me show you how to make delicious carrots that the kids will love. Eat a couple of these before each meal. To make fermented carrots, uh, I've got a, a list of ingredients here. I'm going to use a little ginger, carrots. Today I'm going to actually put in some uh, broccoli spears. I'm going to use cilantro because it just makes a nice flavor. You can also use dill. Uh, you can use oregano from your garden. Uh, I use peppers. Um, and then uh, also a little salt. So the first thing I've done is I've taken the sauerkraut that I make and I use about a quarter of a cup and I put it in the jar and then I fill the jar up about oh not quite a halfway with water and the water needs to be uh, non-chlorinated water that means that you can use spring water you can introduce minerals back into the water uh, but um, the next thing I'm going to do is just break off a piece of ginger and I'm going to show you what I do to peel it just take a spoon it peels right off. And not that you'd even have to do this. Uh, I do it. Okay. So take uh, three pieces or so of ginger, about the size of your thumb, one tablespoon of salt, and shake it up or stir it. I'll stir it. And then go ahead and I like to measure my carrots this way. So cut your carrots. And this is about the size I like. If the carrots are particularly big, uh, then uh, I'm going to cut them in a little smaller pieces where I can get them totally saturated with the fluid. And then I do the same thing with the uh, broccoli spears. We're going to cut those, and there we have it. Now the carrots that I'm using are organic, and so I don't peel them. What I do is I wash them off, and that way I keep everything healthy. So I'm going to mix in the spears from the broccoli, along with the carrots. So I'm going to add some uh, cilantro. Cilantro is just really wonderful for flavoring and I, I like it. It looks good, tastes good. So I'm just going to add some of that. Just get it down in the liquid. Then I'm going to go ahead and repack this a little tighter. So just keep packing it in. I think I mentioned that we use uh, Celtic, French Celtic sea salt, which I found to work wonderful, has a great flavor. You can pack this as tight as you can get it, and that will alleviate the need for having something on the top, like a glass weight, to hold it down. Now I'm going to use glass anyway because I really like everything super clean. I grew up on a farm, and my mother taught us how to uh, can and do all these things and so I like to just do it the way she taught us. So you can see that my liquid is at the top. It covers uh, all of the uh, carrots and the broccoli spears. I put a glass weight in and that way that assures me that everything is going to be under the liquid. I prefer these jars as to uh, others but I also use uh, jars uh, like this here where I'm doing some sauerkraut and I like to use an airlock because it allows for the off-gassing and the fermentation process, but it doesn't allow air to get back in. And I would let these go for seven days, and the temperatures we're having now at about 68 to 70, let's say, in the home. 
In the summertime, five days they may be done. But I would recommend that you take one out in five days and eat it and taste it, see how you like it. Another thing to watch for, the mixture will get cloudy and it will create a film over any glass you have in here and you may even think there's something wrong with it. There's nothing wrong, that's part of the process of breaking down uh, the carrots uh, and there's nothing wrong with that and you can even drink the liquid. Uh, I know that there are people who use these carrots to uh, help in their digestive system. It's great for good gut health. Uh, I can't think of a better way that you could feed your kids or yourself. I like to create a label uh, that helps me identify what I'm doing. And so this tells me when I started it, I got carrots, uh, broccoli spears, ginger, sauerkraut starter, one tablespoon uh, of sea salt, uh, and I just put that on the jar. I'll let that sit and that way I'll come back later and I won't get mixed up. You know, I've been a pastor for a long time and I have eaten in hundreds and hundreds of homes. And it's been a delight. One of the things that you might want to do is when you visit your friends, to spice up their life a little bit. As you can see the cloudiness uh, in the mixture, and that's the way it should be. They smell very refreshing. These were made with dill and they stay very crisp. It's a wonderful treat. Take them with you next time you eat dinner with someone and you're providing a healthy snack and an education on lacto-fermented foods. You know, Jesus always went into the homes of people and ate with them in every walk of life. And it kind of makes me think that that's probably one of the most important things we can do is just fellowshipping with those we love and having a meal with them. Enjoy your meal with your friends.